All right, hey guys, happy Tuesday. Welcome to my stream. I'm Madame Wario, your host for the afternoon. And welcome to an afternoon of Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been really looking forward to playing this because we updated our house on Saturday and this is the first sunny Tuesday in like three weeks in game. It, it's also sunny in real life where I am, but it's sunny in game. It's been raining every single time and I'm like, all I want to do is like butterfly catch, work on the butterfly garden, and it has not happened yet because it's been too dreary. So finally we get a day that's nice. So I want to work on the town a lot, do a lot of landscaping. I'm pulling up my Animal Crossing patterns blog. So if you guys have not seen that, it's not mine. It is a Tumblr blog that I've been using for um, Animal Crossing. So if you type exclamation ACNH into the chat, you will get a link to that blog. And they have um, so many patterns and you can submit your own. It's really awesome. So I'm going to be utilizing that today. Um, I'm going to be utilizing that, uh, making some new areas and some old areas look better. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And we are still raising money for St. Jude. So we're in the final week, believe it or not. This has been such a fun event. So heartwarming, so amazing to see how kind you guys are. Um, and I am just beyond blessed and honored that you would choose my campaign to donate through and that I have the kindest hearts in the world um, in my community. So thank you so much for all of your support thus far, whether that's been a monetary donation or just showing up every single time to one of these streams. Um, it means the world to me. It means the world to a lot of people um, in need. So if you're interested in donating, before I get to anything else, I want to read off some incentives for donating. Um, for one dollar, you get a shout out to anyone you'd like. Um, five dollars gets you a funny voice. I also had a three dollar challenge for a dance move request. I don't know if that's still active though. Oh my gosh, we got a sub already! <laughs> Kaboomik, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back to the Ba family. Thank you so much. Uh, I will give you all the Ba's in a second. So for five, a five dollar donation, you get a funny voice. Uh, or um, I'll wear oven mitts for five minutes. And for a $10 donation, you can replace me with Frago or change my Twitter name for the day. I'll also play with my controller upside down if that's something you want to see. Um, and for a $20 donation, I'll say no to a star. If that's for Mario Party. That would be on Friday if you're planning to be here for that stream. So that's kind of like a think ahead one. Um, and a $30 donation gets you karaoke time. So, um, But that's uh, what's going on for the rest of the week, for the rest of the month. And let's go ahead and say hi to you guys. So first of all, Kaboomik, starting us out with a sub. Thank you so much, Kaboomik. You are so awesome. Uh, oh, I think I accidentally got a, a hug in there. <laughs> oh my god. Um, but yes, so thank you so much, uh, Kaboomik. Oh my gosh, Kaboomek, did you serious? I didn't even realize you just subbed tier three? Holy crap, I don't even have like enough emotes filled up on tier three. Thank you so much for your support though. You're amazing, thank you, thank you. Um, let's say hi to everybody else who's here as well. White Flower being the, the first one in here. Uh, Mario Gamerable, Mega Waluigi, Odinspack is in the house. Stardev94, Casanova64, thank you for sharing my links as always, um, Scottman895, ooh, back to work, still from home, well, I mean, it stinks to go back to work, but at least you get to work from home, so, KittyCatXD, welcome, who else is here, scrolling through, making sure I didn't miss anybody. Ryan Mason, 6469, Wolf Jacobs, Phantom Tempest, how's it going? And Whiteflower redeeming a bah uh, right off the bat. Um, so thank you so much for being here, everybody. And we're going to have just a fun time. I'm trying to make my house in Animal Crossing like a country cottage. Right now it's a very suburban cottage. Um because I've got a lot of amenities outside, so I'll probably change it around. It's more so that I don't have enough of the kind of, like, fencing and stuff I want yet. Um, and I just didn't have a solid idea, really. I'm like, mm, 
I, I kind of know what I want to do, but I don't know how I want to execute it quite yet. What we will be especially working on today is the butterfly garden. That's something I've been trying to start up for like three weeks and it's been raining, raining, raining. And I really don't want to just do it off screen. Uh, there are other areas that it's like, okay, we'll do that off screen. But that's one that I thought would be really cool to do on screen because we can actually catch butterflies and stuff. So um, that's what's going on. But yeah. So Panda plays 6-4. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. You found my YouTube channel through Cooking Mama Babysitting Mama series. Oh my god. Well, thank you for your support. <laughs> thank you for your support. <sighs> Those games are great. They really are. Um, Kitty's here. She's yelling from the other room. I don't know what she's doing. She yells all the time. David Alexander, thank you so much. Um, this is like one of my oldest shirts. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Yo, 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 she95, welcome. I, I don't remember when I got this shirt. I want to say I was like a sophomore in high school, maybe. Um, but yeah, so. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and get started on the game. I think I've got all my announcements out for the moment. I'm not sure what my finale is going to be for St. Jude yet, so I don't want to ramble on about possibilities because I don't know yet. So let's go ahead and exit out of our city folk music and we will get to the game which is HD. I am so happy with this and I'll unmute it because it's muted currently. Um, so there's, we should have game audio now. I'm gonna unmute my TV so I can actually hear the game audio as well. Um, thank you so much, Pixie, for changing the game and welcome to the Strim de la Strim. Thanks, Madam Isabel, for your announcements. <laughs> That's me. Right now, I don't really have anything to announce. Yeah, Pixie on the ball, ready. Um, See, she can never think of anything to say. Get out. Okay, so anyway, if you haven't been around for the HD setup, here we are. Welcome. I'm so happy about it still. It looks so much better. So here's some updates I did to the outside of my house. Um, I added some dirt so that I would have like a garden looking area. I added the pool that I was gifted last time and then Odie gave me this hot tub. Thank you for the bits, Casanova. Thank you so much. Um, that's dirt, man. Yeah, shout out to Odie. And I added some hedge fence. I really want this lattice fence to be like the country fencing, but I don't have it yet. So I, it just hasn't appeared in my note catalog when I've looked. Um, and then I put my pink bike out. And what I might do, I don't know that I'll keep this path. I found a pattern I want to try and use for this. And I don't even know that I'll keep this like the pool and hot tub area. I might put that in a different place entirely. Mega Waluigi, thank you. I saw your message, but you're, you're spamming. So please, please don't spam. Like, no showboating, please. Um, so anyway... We are going to be working on the outside of this house because I kind of want like flower petals and stuff on the ground too, but I'm like, I don't know how to do it to look good. So I'm kind of like, okay. Um, so I'm kind of going to work on that today. Okay, who's sending me stuff? Oh, never mind. It's myself sending me stuff. Um, okay, rocket lamps for the gay club. Garden lantern. Oh, I did start putting together um the restaurant area so that's why all those table settings are in there i'm not really sure how i'm gonna do this um yeah there was an update i'm not really sure what it did jeremy is the boss 12 welcome once you upgrade your house i think a couple times you can move the mailbox so i moved it out here i didn't even realize i could do that either i thought it was like a later uh upgrade but it's not so anyway we need to add that lamp. I went ahead and put my second bike outside of Tutu's house and I was able to give her her wreath. So look how cute that looks on the, on the door. So cute. Oh my gosh. Well, Wolf Jacobs, good luck on all of your exams. And thank you for being here. Um, here's our ballet studio area in case you guys did not see it on Tuesday. It's coming along really, really nicely. It looks great I think 
I really love how it turned out. And then my girl Allison sent me the dinosaur screen. So if she pops up here today, be sure to give her a shout out because I, I haven't been able to give her a shout out yet for it. I wanted her to see it on stream. So our, our Yoshi's Island area is officially done. So it's a hot kamad. Love it. So over here is where we are going to have our butterfly garden. And I went ahead and took out um, the, the blocking bit of the hedges. So that way we can like actually start building out from here. I've just kind of thrown stuff down these cypress plants or whatever I need to work on um, getting them around. Leaf is in town today too, so it's actually pretty lucky. We've got a teddy bear tea party area going on up here, and I also thought that I might make this into the fairy tale area. Uh, that was another idea I had for this after the fact, but I think that I'll I'll probably just leave it for now. I don't know. I kind of want to put like a wishing well outside of my house and make that look look pretty um okay and i'm gonna do my dailies as we're kind of walking through here this is fridge's house i still don't really know what to do outside of fridge's house if anybody has any brilliant ideas go for it and i posted a video on twitter yesterday this was so adorable but i walked over here to my elephant enclosure and stitches was just running just running through it. I'm like, oh my gosh, he's so cute. He tried to move yesterday too, by the way. He was like, I think I might move out of, I was like, no, you're not. Sorry, but that's not happening. I need to work on this area still. Probably won't focus on that as much today. Um, but yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do is go get patterns and stuff after we look in the shop. So here's the start to our restaurant area. I have another lantern I got for outside of here. Uh, and I bought three more table settings because I didn't know if I'd want to put um, the table settings on the little tables instead of the roses. I, I'm not really sure. And I don't know that I'm going to keep all four chairs here because I don't want this to be a huge area. I just want it to be like a, a small but mighty area. So, um... I don't know, and I could move it over, I just kind of liked how it was in line with the heart pond, so I'm not really sure. I'm gonna have to figure that out. I do want to put like rose petals on the ground, um, do something with that. What else was I gonna put over here? There was something else I was gonna put over here too. But yeah, this is where like all the roses have blossomed and gone, they'll probably fill up the ground eventually. Um, oh my god, Prof. Pie. Okay, Biscuit calls me Professor Pie, and I, he's gonna show me how to be mistaken. So. I love the table settings, I do. I don't think all four will fit, though, is the only thing. So, I have another one. Let me go ahead and put it down, uh, just to show it off. Okay, table setting. Yeah, so it's super duper cute. Um, and like, say I put a table setting on these instead. Oops, I do need to open that, but that's not what I want to use right now. Um, uh, I kind of like the rose on it better, I think. Just because it doesn't cover the entire table. So, no, I don't. Oh my god, no! Okay, hold on. I didn't mean to wear it. I meant to... This is what I don't like, is when I go to do something and it changes the direction I'm facing, and then it's a big to-do. It's really annoying. Um, so yeah, I don't know how I want to lay this out 100%. But we're gonna kind of figure that out as we go. So... Um, um, Flurry's moving out of your village today! Was that- I'm guessing you didn't allow this, it just happened. Cherry's singing outside of her house. Oh, she's singing Stale Cupcakes! Which was our song request from Saturday. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That scared me for a second. I was like, ah! 
Thank you so much for the donation, Scott man. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Let me refresh this page so I can actually see it. And can't believe we are in the final week of the campaign. Let's keep the donation hype going. Thank you so much, Scott man. Oh my, what in the world? Okay, you're changing my Twitter name. And it'll change it just after 3 o'clock today. So probably at the end of the stream it'll change. Because right now I'm Dr. Popular MD. So, Aura We Made M. We, wait, or, Aura We Madam? What? Kitty doesn't understand. So she's like, I, oh, it's Madam Wario backwards. Look at you, Scott, man. I didn't even get it. I was like, what? Now I see it. I'm like, are we mad? That's so funny. Oh my god. Thank you so much for that generous donation, Scott, man. I'm giving you all the boz. Thank you so much for all your generosity this campaign. Bringing us up to $4,231 raised for St. Jude. Thank you so, so much. You are amazing, Scott, man. Thank you so much for... All of your hype, always. You are so, so kind. Um, or are we mad with madam? Madam spelled backwards is still madam though, isn't that weird? Um, okay, so thank you so much for starting out that hype. All right, so I move the flowers around, you guys. I, I got so many. Oh my god, what is this? This is the most wholesome- <gasps> Look at how wholesome this is! Oh my god, so cute! Look at them both sitting there listening like little children. Oh man, I had to take a video. I love Tutu. Tutu is like my favorite. Villager. Sorry, my nail just caught and that was weird. Um, yeah, Tutu Slider. So cute. Alright, let's go see what's for sale. And then we're gonna go to the Able Sister and S Sisters, and I'm gonna redeem a couple um, design codes for this town. So, oh, Cookie's in here wearing her balloon shirt. Or shirt. Hat, not shirt. Um,. I literally don't think I can use any of these things. Crap. Dud. Dud today. There have been days when, like, every single thing is, like, I love it. And then the re there are days like this where everything in here I don't want. <laughs> so. Uh. Alright, we don't want any of this stuff either. We redid our house. I think I said this already. Uh, not cookies room or um Rhonda's room but we did redo our main room and I love it now I love it so so much I do want to make the upstairs like a mean girls Regina's bedroom cute type something so that's probably what's gonna happen there um but I'll show it off in a second I need to go to the able sisters there's also a fossil hiding in here uh oh and of course I don't Come on, just dig up the spot I want. I'm always digging up the wrong spot, the spot right next to it or whatever. Um, but anyway, you've never seen that tapestry? Oh no, you've never seen that tapestry? I feel like I've seen, I don't know if I've seen that one, but I've seen like the same thing with a different design. Um, okay. So I have a couple patterns pulled up. Oh, my, Renee's birthday is in two days. I probably missed like a bunch of birthdays in my other town because I was paying too much attention to this town. I'm honestly liking this town better than my other town. So I'm like playing this one more at the moment. Okay, I also want to say thank you to everybody who was at my stream yesterday where we took a look back at Let's Play Animal Crossing from 10 years ago. That was such a fun stream. I had an absolute blast and it went by so fast. Thank you guys so much for being there. That was so much fun. And if you missed it, it'll be on YouTube later today, I promise. Um, and it's on Twitch right now. 
but it'll be on YouTube, archived for sure. Um, so this is Pinky's shirt right here. I think it's kind of funny they changed her shirt, but I do love that she's wearing like a little kimono. This is like a school uniform. Alright, I don't see anything I absolutely have to have, so... I'm getting out. I'm in my magical girl dress outfit right now with my magical shoes. My mage's... Oh, crap. I didn't mean to leave. Sorry. My mage's booties or whatever. You had to clip this conversation? I didn't even pay any attention to it. Um... Oh, Kaboomek! You were at work! That's okay. It'll be archived. I mean, it really was just, like, a really fun watch party. And also, I would love to do the same thing at Christmas. I want to have a Christmas stream where we watch the 12 Days of Pimpmas together, because it'll be the 10-year anniversary of that this Christmas. So that'll be super fun. Um, okay, so I have a couple patterns I already pulled up. And if you guys type exclamation A C N H, you will have access to all of these patterns and more because it's just a Tumblr blog. Um, I'm going to search by creator ID and I'm going to just show you so that way if you're watching this video later, if you're like, wait, I want that same one, um, it'll just be on your screen right now. So, I mean, there's no reason to hide this, but rather than like posting it in the chat or something, um, I'm just going to do it this way only. You too? Okay. Kitty's like, don't forget about me, girl. So this is the first pattern I wanted. This is for inside my house. Um, and there, there's multiple patterns, but they're like paintings. Oh wow, this person's made a lot of stuff. Oh my god, this person has made so much! How cute are these? Dang, girl. Yeah, so, so like, these right here are, like, what I want. Because I want, like, little paintings inside my house. So we're going to save over clovers. Uh, and then what other painting did I want? I should have one of, like, ladies. Is this like Gone with the Wind? Look at how cute that is. Um, so yeah, I want I want to have some of these like home paintings. Okay, that's a cute one. Um, I kind of like. Oh, look at this one. These are all so cute. Okay, I'm gonna add this one too. I love me some ladies! Exactly. Okay, so there are my paintings. Let's see if there's anything else I want of hers. She has a lot of stuff. How cute! Look at this frog! Oh, trans frog flag? How cute is that? I just like the, the basic frog, too. Really, really cute. Oh! Girl. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that because I want to save my patterns. Um, so that's the first one. Um, let me go down to the second one I want, which is a path. And it's a fairy path, so that's what I want. And this is 1169. 2380. Again, these are, if you guys want any of these patterns, just type in exclamation A C N H in the chat and it'll get view link. If you're watching this on YouTube later, it's A C N H custom Um, yeah, it's a fantastic little hub of all these different. Hold on, 8979. Not 87. There we go. Um, it's a fantastic little hub of like so many different design options and you can get so many different ideas on this site. So on this blog. Okay, so I'll, I'll show you guys. This is the pattern I really like is the overgrown planks. Um, fairy path. Yeah, this is it. This is the fairy path I want by Squishy. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll get the sideways one, too. I don't think I'll really use it, but then again, I'll say that and be like, oh, should have gotten 
the sideways path. So I'll just get it just in case. So that way we have it and we're not like, ooh. Um, Stardev94, welcome to the stream. And Madam Mom, welcome to the stream as well. So we're getting some fairy path up in here. Um, dirt plot, hot. Okay, we already have a, something that looks like that. Let's go to the next pattern I want, which is for a trellis. And this is by Becky from Alexandria. Oh, that's not right, Alexandria. Uh, 0220, and then 5896. I feel like I'm reading phone numbers when I do this. I know it's too many digits, but it just feels that way to me. Um, okay. So I want to get this trellis design because I actually have a piece of furniture that would work. Oh, how cute is that? Work well for this? I really like this cafe sign too. How cute. Okay, I want the pink roses. Um, we're going to go down here. And then... Oh, I might have to get one of the a couple of these other ones too. I really do like both of these. I like the bees. I don't know if I'll use this for anything, but I'll get it just in case for now. And then I also like that cafe sign. That could be really cute outside of our rose cafe for right now until we get an actual restaurant sign. So I like it. Okay, and then there's one more. Oh, there might be a few more. Okay. One more. I did see the sandwich hats. I think those are so cute. So you can, like, put them on a plate and it looks like a sandwich. Um, I really like the beehive, too. It's super cute. So now I'm getting some like flower petals for our restaurant area. So nine, one. I just enter the creator IDs to you guys because you never know what other patterns these people are going to have. And as you can see, they're really cute a lot of the time and they're ones that aren't posted with whatever you're looking at. So this is by Lee. So. I feel like Brewster is just a matter of time. Like, he takes a while to get in the other games, so it's like, it's just a matter of time before we get it. Oh, Mushrooms on Moss is cute. Look at how cute. Okay, so this is what I want. Oh, it's a mushroom path. How cute is that? I didn't even realize. But yeah, they're little mushrooms. What? Okay, hold on. Let me see. Sparse mushrooms. See, those look like flower petals to me. Um, I'm gonna get the sparse mushrooms. Because they look like flower petals. And they're cute. So <laughs> that's why we're getting that. Um, here, let me go to the next page. Hopefully my stream isn't lagging like crazy um and i typed out a uh, cottage or no i didn't type out cottage i went to the theme of cottage um if you go to this blog site i'm sure that brewsters is just a matter of time because everybody wants him. They just, you know, and they've been releasing things slowly with updates. I kind of like that they haven't given us literally everything all at once. Because then it would all get, like, old fast. And we'd be like, oh, cool. Already, already did everything I needed to do in town. So I kind of like that it's, like, giving us stuff to look forward to. Taking the time. Ooh, yes. I need this blanket, too. Okay, so I really like this. Um, okay, there's little like mushrooms and then I want to get, I might as well get the blanket too because I need this for our tea party area. 
So we're just gonna get that. And we need all sides. This is kind of just how I like to do things too. Just kind of see what I find and go with it and see how it works. Okay, cool. And let me scroll and make sure there's nothing that I miss that I want for now. Hmm. Hmm. They have like some butterfly signs on here, but they're all kind of like more scientific than what I want, if that makes sense. So they're not so like, wow, this is a butterfly garden. Um, okay, give me one second. I'm just kind of looking through. Oh, I do want this dress. Okay, there was a dress I wanted. Forgot. By Dahlia. Dahlias are some of my favorite flowers. P.S. I don't think they're in this game. But I wish they were. Although they'd probably look too similar to mums in this game. So they're not going to add those. Okay, 4390. Okay, I really like... Um, her sunflower dress. Uh, this one. So cute! Yes! And I don't have as many pro designs as you can see. Because um, I haven't really focused on clothing as pro designs as I have like patterns for town. Alright, so we're gonna finish up using the kiosk for now. Speedy Munchlax, how's it going? So, uh, exactly. Some people are so talented with these patterns. That's why I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna find other people's patterns and use those for my town because they are so, so cute. Um, did I go outside today? I have not gone outside today. I know, I think finally, like, summer is on the brink. And I'm like, thank you. I've been waiting, girl. So... Um, so, okay, so here's my main room, and I bought this harp, so I added to it a little bit. I also bought a laptop, um, so that way now I have a little computer desk, and I moved my gramophone in here and the record player out to the ballet studio area, because it was a little more hidden, you couldn't really see it. So, yeah, I bought it for 1.7k, you're right, Pixie. Um, I went ahead and did the stamp rally just to get these trophies that are on the wall of the bug, fish, and fossil. And they're going to go along the other doorway once we get that other room. So see how these, like, HHA or a whatever plaques are kind of framing that doorway? It's going to do the same thing on the other side. So for now, they're just above this doorway. So I don't have to store them. Um, and then I took the cypress plant that didn't match and I added it to this corner and I went back and forth deciding if I liked it or not but I'm just gonna go with it for now so let's put some of these patterns shoot patterns on the wall that we just got for our paintings um display here painting oh how do I do this oh canvas there we go. Um, I was like, how do people do this? I apparently have never done this before. Display here on canvas. You can see how these all match. Uh, and then I'm going to just kind of sporadically put them on the wall. Yeah, maybe like that. I like that. Look at how cute that is. My paintings. I love it. Yay! So we have like a very old-fashioned cozy room now. Hello! How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I do too. I love that the gramophone sounds like old in the quality and the way it plays. Um... 
Aw, Mega Waluigi. Well, thanks, girl. Okay, so this is our main room. The other rooms I, I'll show off just in case you guys haven't been here to see uh, the updates. This is Cookie's replica room. So this is our Cookie room. It's our tribute. I also just really wanted a cute furniture room like this. Um, and we might add like a pink rug in here or something later when, once we get it. Uh, but I've been very, very like anal about what I add in here. The only things that I've added that are not in her original house are like the ukulele, the uh, magazine rack. I also added stuff to this coffee table. So it looks really cute. I love it. So these rooms, I just, I wanted them to be like very different and paying tribute to my favorite like houses in the village so if those people ever move away we still have like the cuteness and then this is Rhonda's look-alike room and it's very cute as well I'll probably end up moving the vacuum upstairs but for now it gets to live in here um, and we need more stuff for the walls in here but I haven't found anything that really fits and I don't want to just crowd the walls with all kinds of crap Upstairs, we want to do like a Mean Girls style room, so that's why uh, I have so much stuff in here. Like, I think I'll probably end up using the cute bed over the Imperial bed, but like this chest and everything looks very like royal and uh, very fitting to all of that. So that's why I've I've got that all uh, kind of in check in here, and we'll just kind of make that when we get it. We aren't gonna get the upstairs for a, a while because we don't have enough bells and we're actually running out of bells on this uh particular file so um so, oh thank you mega waluigi somebody gave me this somebody gave me this flower crown last stream okay so we need to get some bushes from leaf and he's gonna tell us what's glooming, but we don't really care. We just are going by color. Uh, okay, yellow tea olive start. I know the azaleas are blooming. I'll probably get the, the white ones for outside of my house. Um, I'll probably come back here quite a, quite a bit, so... I do not have Pinky on my island, but I do have two two. I have a lot of cuties on my island. I love all my villagers. Thank you for sharing the St. Jude link, Casanova. Um, and then I need to go into Town Hall and see if that one um, fence is available for outside my house. And then we'll go ahead and probably get to work on the butterfly garden outside my house and putting down some of these patterns. I'm just gonna buy all the azaleas for the moment. And azaleas are what are outside of the gay club as well. Um, so if you're wondering what those bushes are over there, and I'll go show those off because those will be full grown. Oh girl! Thanos, the power! Thank you so much for the follow! Her name is Unibrow. <laughs> uh, White Flower, I'm not cheating. I'm I'm not manipulating any of my characters by Amiibo. Absolutely not. It takes away the fun of Animal Crossing. Like Animal Cross, the fun of Animal Crossing is the random nature in which villagers show up, and you never know who you're gonna fall in love with. That's how I got Pinky to begin with, and I loved her. And like, um, so if I just make my town the same villagers I've liked for, you know, 15 years, it's not special anymore. It's not random and it, it's not fun. You miss out on new characters. So I don't play that way on, you know, which no shame to anybody who does, but it's just not fun for me to play that way and manipulate every, every villager in my town. Okay. So we want to go to redeem Nook Miles for the fence. <laughs> right on Odie. Um, we want to go, oh, dang it. I probably should look at what fencing I do have, because I don't know if I have either of these. Straw fence or vertical board? Um, hold on, let me look before I leap. Straw fence and vertical board. So, these are the fences I have. I do not have straw fence or vertical board, so I need both of those. Yeah, I really am waiting on that country fence. Um, 
which is just a matter of time. It's just, I keep forgetting to look in here every day, so I'm sure I've just missed it in here. Um, okay, let's see. We'll go ahead and get these, though. Plus, I was, like, saving my Nook Miles, so I'm sure at times when this was in here, I, like, ignored it. So. Yeah, definitely. Everyone's down is either Raymond, Ketchup, or Marshall. Exactly. Um. It'll tell you if you try to redeem the fences. It oh, really? Okay, good. Thanks, Pix. I didn't realize. Um. Okay, I, I do. If I see Hornsby again, I gotta take him because it's just, it's too much. It's just fate at that point. Um. Kaboomek, that's understandable. Like, if you really, if I really, really disliked a, a villager, or, like, I had no villagers that I liked, then maybe I would use an amiibo. But, like, I just have had good luck, and I, I've really liked a lot of the people I've gotten. So, like, it hasn't bothered me. Also, CJ Maverick, I don't think I said hi to you. I just read your comment, but welcome. So, um, okay. Sweet, I learned DIY fence. We can finally, like, buy some of the hair style wow. recipes. Although I've gotten so used to this hair, I feel like it's very me. So, um, let's go ahead and look at Nook shopping really quick. Let's see what the specials are for the day. It's literally stuff I already have. So, maybe not. Hypno KK. Here are all our posters so far. I need to go and get... Tutu's poster from Harv's Island. Maybe I'll show that off today. Um, does Horns? I don't think Horn. I or actually, I think Hornsby does have a bio, and it just says Doofus. Because I'm pretty sure we saw that yesterday. At some point, I ran into him. I think he was in Slim's Town, maybe. Uh, yeah, that's Hornsby's bio. Doofus. So. That's all we had to say about him 10 years ago. Hot take. Um, okay, so we need to put down the rocket lamp and then we have those two extra table settings. I feel like we're not gonna need them. Um, so I'll probably just give those away. <laughs> this is so cute. This little concert is still happening. I'm gonna interrupt and I'm gonna give her a table setting. Take this table setting for your concert. You've been low key wanting a table setting for all this time. All right, Biscuit, you're getting a table setting too because you just happen to be right here. So, um, Hypno KK is good and spooky. I try not to order that stuff until, like, the end of the day, only because, like, if I have an idea and I want to order furniture, like, it sucks that there's a five-piece limit every day. It's like, really? Why do you not like me, game? Like, I tried to order more than one of these dang rocket lamps, and it's like, oh, nope. Can't. Also, I think that these corners are, like, packed enough. I need to put this, like, on stage. There we go. Hot. Um, yeah, and I blocked this off. I was gonna have a path leading to Julian's house, and I don't know what I'm doing now. I just don't have anything leading to his house. I just left it like this. Um, I don't know how I want to mess with paths leading everywhere. Like, I don't know if I really want to do that, so that's kind of why I, I haven't done that at all. Um, okay, so... I'm going to... What am I gonna do? I have stuff to put down here as far as um, patterns go. And probably what's gonna be easiest... Oh, you know what? I have stuff to customize too. Let's go back to our house um, and get some customization going first because I, I need to bring this trellis up to that butterfly garden area and we'll just get started on these areas. And I probably need to gather up some materials. I'm checking the beach now for my recipe for the day. 
Gulliver was in town yesterday, and I'm like, can I please get somebody other than Gulliver? I do not want all of these, like, world landmarks. Like, they're so boring to me for just in your town. They never, like, fit, and they're annoying. I don't want pot, dang it. Dumb. Okay, and then we'll get to terraforming. Thank you, Phantom. It's a work in progress, but it's getting there. I need the iron chairs or whatever, so I'm just kind of waiting to get that. I haven't seen who's making my recipe in town for the day yet. I need this simple panel. I don't think there's anything else in here that I need because all of this is for other rooms or I'm not really sure where it's going yet. Probably a lot of this I'll end up giving away later as well. But for now, it's just like, gotta save it until I know I'm not gonna use it. Um, and a lot of this, these like floor and floors and stuff I can give away. I probably like, whenever I have people in town again, I'll probably just like have an area and be like, take hey, whatever, I don't care. Um, for some of the flooring and stuff. Cause some of those came from Sahara, but like I'm never gonna use them. So I don't really care. Okay, so I need this and I also no I need to look at how to make signs again because I don't remember and I don't want to get up there and be like oh my god I forgot everything I was trying to do um so the butterfly garden is all hyacinths oh I found this lily record player recipe look at how cute that is Maybe we'll put that up there. Uh, but I don't know. Okay. And I, oh, I need the cart. But I don't have all the flowers for it, I don't think. I don't think. Where'd it go? What am I even looking for right now? Like, I don't remember why I originally came in here. Oh, the sign. That's what. Uh, oh, how cute is that? Let's see. Am I just blind? Can I not see this stuff for some reason? I swear I had the flower rolling. Oh, there it is. There's this. It takes wood. I, I had to, like, go out and hit every tree just to get enough wood for those chairs yesterday. Like, it takes so long to get wood. I have like a million softwood and hardwood, but not regular wood. And so many patterns take regular wood. The flower wagon, yeah. Where is it? Why? Oh, there it is. It keeps blending in for me. So yeah, it takes wood, iron nugget. I think I don't have red cosmos. Everything else I have. Um, cosmos are just like weird to find for some reason in this game. Okay, so how many wood did I need for this? Six? I don't even think I have that many in storage, so I'm gonna have to probably go hit some trees. Uh, yeah, I have four. Okay, well, and I don't even have an axe to do that. That is so stupid. Okay, you know what? I I don't care. I just want to go customize this thing then, cause I don't care. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh my god. Yeah, it is! Wood is the hardest wood to find, in my opinion. I have hordes of soft and exactly same. And I think it's because almost every pattern takes regular wood. And it's like, can we take something other than regular wood? Madge Lines, welcome to the stream. Um, okay, I want to try and customize Simple Panel. And so this is what you can do with simple panel. However, we're gonna make it into a, whoa, fancy. We're gonna make it into a trellis like that. So that's what I wanna do. I found this in my shop the other day and I was like, oh, there, there's all kinds of possibilities for this. Um, it was a golden ax. My uh, friend Cholsey91 gave me that golden ax cause she has like every recipe because she's playing in December of 2021 right now. So she's in the future. So <laughs> that's how I have that. Um, let me go ahead and 
put these up because I have a feeling we're gonna need storage space and I don't want to mess with it so okay I don't think there's anything else that I need to take for now I'm just gonna buy an axe from the store and you know so she is playing in December of 2021 I'm not making this up okay so I also want to try out um, the little fairy pattern for right here um, and I think I need things to be more like sporadic if I really want this to look how I'm envisioning it um, oh wait a minute this is it so oh no that's not what I I don't want it on top of that hold on I need to do grass first for a long time I was like why is grass on there oh girl Casanova thank you so much for the big bits hi the big snowman bits thank you so much okay so I need to that's one of the random amounts uh, random amount alerts so because those definitely exist too um, all right good luck Wolf Jacobs good luck on all your exams and everything okay I think that's a lot cuter as a lead-up to this so I don't know if, like I said that I'm gonna keep the pool and stuff here but I'm not really sure. <laughs> Pixie, what? Come to the cranny or we'll touch your fanny from Hoony. <laughs> oh my god, Pixie. Oh my god, this butterfly. Hold on. Uh, what is this flying across my face? Come back, butterfly. <laughs> Queen Alexandra's bird wing. Oh, yes, Raja Brooke. What is this? Butterfly City going on. That is luck. Grab that Queen Alexandria bird wing. I'm so glad. I'm so grateful that we have that, like, actual piece. Oh my gosh, Pixie! You gave us the peacock butterfly model! Thank you so much! And it's so beautiful! Look at it! Oh my god, I love it! Thank you so, so much! So now we have four butterfly models. I'm trying to get all the big ones. Like, I've only seen Flick once, but when he comes back, I'm trying to have, like, the big butterflies stocked. I think I have enough Raja Brook now. Um, I'm trying to get those before, like, the commons, so, just wanted to stop by. Alright, well, thanks for stopping by. It's all the hybrids! I never see butterflies like that outside my house. It was the floor, I think. It was the, the big floor. Okay, so what are the other designs I have for on this? Thank you so much, Pixie. You're awesome. I wanted to see what these mushrooms looked like, just kind of... Yeah, like that look- <sighs> Can we like maybe not get interrupted every five seconds by crazy things happening outside this house? <sighs> Dang it. Oh, I'm gonna pick the flowers if I do that. And I just made it disappear. Isn't that hot? Good job, me. Good job. Okay, so I'm going back. Let's try putting, like, some of this down. Um, I think I might want the bigger mushrooms right here. Yeah, that's looking better. And then let me get the little ones right there. No, that's too much. It's too much. Okay, good. 
Yeah. Hmm. I kind of like the bigger ones better. But, no. I, I don't think I want these right here, though. Um... Yeah, next will be a scorpion coming after me. Gadzooks! How's it going? It vanished! Yeah. It, it did. It vanished. It was my fault. I didn't have the patience for it, so it was like, mm, nah. Also, what am I unlocking? You got the bug. I caught 101 bugs! 101 Dalmatians! Okay, hot. Okay, so I wanted to utilize what in the world okay so this I wanted to like put randomly and I don't know how this is gonna look hmm I'll just leave it like that for now I feel like I'm gonna change that later probably so I'm not liking it as much as I hoped, so. Okay, custom designs. I need cafe. We could also use this path like through the butterfly garden. I don't know that I even wanna have a path, but we'll see. I do need the blanket for up on the hedge up there and Check in. What's up, girl? Okay, those blue blue roses. I've grown one blue rose. The other two were donated to me from visitors. So shout out to whoever donated those blue roses. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this going. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the same path up to her house that is up to my house. Um, instead of the stone path. <sighs> Are you serious right now? Okay, hold on. I keep forgetting that that goes on top of paths. I really wish it wasn't erasable, though. Like, it's so stupid that you can erase it. Like, I don't like that. Okay. There's that. Hot. Okay, so that looks better. And then now we're gonna go ahead and put that away. We're gonna get this out. I have to move these. So I'm gonna put all these into my pocket for now. Uh -huh. So I basically erased everything back here so that we could extend this. So let's do that. Let's do that and see what we think. Because we could maybe have like the fountain back here. And I just wish this was better the way you could do this like with a drag function or something but it just does not exist that way so and then you end up erasing half of your path after you make it and it's really fun so yeah all right let's go ahead and circle this I think that's big enough for this. Crap. Fountain. No, it's not. We're uh, we have the right idea, but it needs to be a lot bigger. Um, also, yeah, I think that's good. Like that'll be the the spot for it. So. So let's make this out. Is this what I did? I don't know. So much trial and error. 
Yeah, that's the Queen Alexandra's bird wing. Isn't that amazing? Like, the model is gigantic. Like, I love it. Okay, this might not be big enough either. I'm just trying to get this to work. Okay, wait. I think it is. Oh, yes, girl. Check that out, ladies. I think that's a little bit over more than what we had it before, but, like, it has to be like that or else we won't. Um, we won't have enough space. Okay, so. Yeah. So we're gonna curve this. For a moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, throw it. Throw it. I'll probably have to get more of these bushes as well. It's probably just inevitably going to happen. That's okay. Okay. And if we want a path out here, I like break it right there. Okay, so what we can do is we can make like a we can either make a path or we can just let it be completely covered in flowers um that's what i haven't really decided yet and there's probably gonna be like a staircase up to that area it's gonna be separate from this I could just make a path that goes straight back. Um, see how that works. Okay, how many more? 15, perfect. So yeah, if I have a path that goes straight through, uh, I can move this guy over. Uh, and then I'll put the peacock over here. Where did it go? Oh, it's up here. Okay. I'm trying to have these face all different directions. What in the world? Oh, were you on your pizza? I didn't even Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, okay. Let me try the path and see how it looks. See how my path looks. And again, I might not even have this as part of this, but we'll see. Also not going to the right spot. No, what are you doing? I could also... No, I don't like that. Fucking mole crickets, get out of here. So over your annoying. Okay, so I need to add the fence right here and see if I even like that. And I'm going to add the trellis back here. We probably could get a couple more of these made, too. So that might be a, a, an object to order. Uh, so that way this is like taking up the side of this mountain mountain what am I saying yeah so I think I'll order like two or three more of those 
Probably two more would be good. Um, and then take it from there. Okay, so now we need to add what's over here. And I'll try to, maybe I should group these so that way they're not, they're able to make hybrids and stuff. Right now, I'm not really in any particular order. Um, so yeah. And we also have bushes that we can add, so we need to plant some bushes over there. Renee's like, what are you doing outside my house? What we could do, hold on. Maybe I'll add one more trellis. And I will. Put bushes right here. Although I don't think there's enough room. I probably have to knock that out if that's the case. Uh, anyway, Rhonda, whoever she is. <laughs> Renee, Rhonda, same thing. They're both rhinos. They're both cute. Uh, oh yeah, it's a different color. Rhonda, I'm in the middle of this. Does that only take up one space? Is it just one space long and not two? Oh, it is! Okay, well then that might be perfect. That might be perfect, if that's the case. So, it's just one space. Oh! Oh! Another Raja Brook. Gotta catch. Gotta catch them all, ladies. Renee Rondo, who really cares? Exactly, yo-yo. I guess if you're a die-hard, like, Rhonda or Renee fan, you might be like, um, get it right, but, like, whatever. Um, okay, let's do a couple bushes right outside of this, and then maybe a cypress plant on each side. See how that looks? I don't want it to cover up that big ol'... No, what? What are you doing? I don't... Okay, I don't want it to cover up anything. Um, uh, oh, that's like a tight squeeze, isn't it? Maybe one bush with one? this plant. Yeah, that's probably better. And then I'll probably have a sign, too, that says, like, Butterfly Garden, eventually. I dug up a cypress plant I just buried. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Plant. Plant. No. I don't know. I don't know whether to just put these, like, kind of randomly throughout as well. So, like, hold on. I'll show off what I mean. Because we might not use all of these either. I just have them. No, that looks kind of poop stink. Okay. Kind of poop and scoop. Okay, well, I'll leave that area open so that way we can maybe get some hybrids. Okay. So yeah, we're basically just needing to fill up this area now with these flowers and 
I would like to get some hybrids going. I know, too bad you can't plant them without the pot. Then it'd be like, it would look really good. I don't know if the best thing to do is like group them like that. I'm like not a hybrid expert, so. Um, if you guys have any pointers to share, feel free because I'm like, uh. Because eventually I would love for this area to just be a complete, completely full of nothing but like hybrids, so. And I don't know if I should group all the same color together. I don't know if that's the best way to go about it. Um, I'm not really sure. So, oh shoot. We'll water all of them in a second. And maybe I'll try putting like a bush every, just randomly, because they'll grow and we can move them, but like just to figure it out. Armand2017 and Epic Mind, welcome to the stream, girl! Um, I'm just gonna plant these bushes and move them later. I'm gonna put these outside. Again, this is just to grow them. And maybe I'll like how this looks, I have no idea. Uh, but we might as well just plant them to grow for the moment. <clears throat> I don't know how, I mean, I'm not really worried about golden flowers, or I'm not really in, worried about any particular color. I just, cause I want all different colors, but. Uh, did you need a light blue cute DIY? I do still need that pixie. If you have one, I would be grateful to you for that because I definitely need one still. Um, yeah, I'm not really worried about any particular color. I just want to get hybrids, basically. What did I just do? Oh, I guess I planted it in an area that I was not expecting. No! What? Fine, I'll plant a bush right here. I should probably just plant, like, all these other bushes. around two. Um, again, I'm thinking about adding a staircase up there. Maybe we'll do some of this. I think this, yeah, this is the pink. Just kind of randomly. Uh, again, I'm just randomly putting these around because until they grow, I'm not 100% sure where I want them, so we might as well just have them all growing in this general area. Um, I think that we're on the right track with this, though. I think we just need to grow more flowers <clears throat> and get more of an idea of what we want where. I'll plant some bushes right here. Okay. I'm just planting all these bushes. <laughs> That's basically what I'm doing. Oh, thank you, Pixie. I appreciate it. But yeah. And then we need to water all these flowers. I want to say thank you to everybody who came over and visited on Saturday night as well and watered my flowers. That was really helpful. And I definitely got like a lot of new flowers and hybrids popping up the next day. So thank you so... Oh no! Thank you so much for that. Um, okay. So I'll plant the last of these bushes. And then I need to look through my pattern and see if there's anything else... Anything missing. I don't know, you guys like this path through here like this? Um, or is it too poop stink? Um, put that up there. 
Again, I don't know about... Yeah, that looks good, like, right there. Yeah, and I'll just, like I said, I'll kind of keep these up here for now. Until I know what I want to do. I really do wish you could plant them, though. That would be, like, the best. Let's put two right next to each other. Because, you know, like, butterfly gardens always have, like, little areas to go that have, like, water. And we could add that, like, um, little pond in here, too, I guess. We could add that and, like, extend this out more. And just have, like, the staircase up to this area further out. Maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll try making that little, that other little pond and extending this out. So why don't we go ahead and, we need to buy a couple recipes anyway. So that's kind of what I'm thinking we should do now. So. But. Um, Mr. Wario, welcome to the stream. So yeah, I think that this is just gonna have to be a little bit of a work in progress, but it does look a lot more put together than it did before. Also, I need to add this. Yeah. And that looks better. I love the butterfly figurines, though. They look so perfect. Thank you so much for the peacock butterfly pixie. And let's go ahead and get this other... This is probably the same thing as before. Like, oh, you lost it, so we sent it to you again. I really wanted this security uniform. You know it, girl. Alright, well, that's getting gifted to somebody. Um, oh, I think that is a peacock butterfly, too. Come back, butterfly! Oh my god. I can't get her. Are you serious? Did she just leave? No! Okay, well. Rip. Huh. <sighs> anyway. So I hope everybody had a good Memorial Day. Um, mine was great. A lot of you spent a lot of your Memorial Day with me too, so I appreciate that. Um, yeah, just pieced out, basically. What was I doing? I need to get uni uniforms. Oh my god, I need to get recipes. Aw, thanks, Odie. Big appreciate. Okay, so I think the smartest thing to do is get these recipes, see how they look, and then go from there. But yeah. So I need, I need the well recipe because I want to have that potentially outside my house instead of the other, like the pool and hot tub. And then I also need the outdoor bath. And look, we actually have miles to spend on this crap for once. Who knew? You should have done your island to look like GBA Sims busting out. No, why would you want to do that? Kind of grody. Okay. Um... Now, let's go... Wait, no. Okay, I think I need to make a shovel for these, weirdly. I think it's so weird that these take a shovel. Yeah, look. Stone and a shovel. So we need a shovel. And then we need a flimsy shovel. And freaking wood. Okay, I gotta go to the shop. I gotta go to the shop. Yeah, I can have a... You can have that chicken that kills. Yeah, the Velocirooster. rooster. Oh, 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 no. Terrible. 
Just terrible. Do I get confused working on two islands? I really don't because they are both so different, honestly. Um, that it makes it easy. If I like tried to do the exact same theming and stuff, I probably would, but but no, it's actually been pretty decent. And I'm just buying these flimly, flimsy freaking axes because I don't care. And I'm buying this too because, you know, laziness. Okay, so I gotta make one of these shovels into an actual shovel. And then I gotta make both of these axes into better axes. I have. I know, I like that espresso machine in the color, but I already have it. And Odie had a theory, and I think you might be right, Odie, about, um... Oh, she's wearing her little bow! She's so cute with her purse! Um... What do I need to give? I don't even know if I have anything in my pocket to give. Oh my god! Wow. She lost her voice from singing too much. I'm not giving her this uniform to ruin her look. Um, but anyway, Odie was saying that he thought that maybe each town had a particular color that they released things in because I rarely see different colors of the same item. I don't know if it's true, but I seriously, like, never see, like, other colors. It's really weird. It's a good theory, because I don't- I'll see, like, the same baby bear. The same blue floral baby bear in my other town. And it's like, I don't understand why I never see any other colors. But that could be a really good theory, because that might be true. And that's why there are so many different color variants, because it's, like, different per town. Because I feel like I've seen that same color espresso machine in that shop, like, three times. And it's like, why? Um... I'm gonna go ahead and get my wood out, and, uh, okay, my DIY table's back here. I get, yeah, I guess it encourages visiting friends more. Okay, let's, wait, I don't want to customize something, I want to make something. Let's craft. Oh, I need to get, hold on. I need to get clay out for that as well. Um, oh my god, it takes freaking wood just to make this crap to get wood. And I got stung by so many bees yesterday on this game. And then I need a real shovel too. Lame. Yeah, I need a real shovel. Okay, so I need clay, I need wood, I need to favorite these items so I stop losing them. I know I can't make that yet, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I should favor that too. I need to like favorite all the items that I want to make but have not made yet. Oh sweet, I can make this. Okay, I can make the bath. I can make the bath. Um. <laughs> Who knew all it took was a shovel to make a bath? So. Um. Maybe balloons give different colors, but shops stock the same colors? It's possible. It's very possible. Finally called Best Buy. On hold. Yeah, on hold for three hours. Oh, man. Gotta love Best Buy. Hey, at least maybe now you'll get some answers as to where your stuff is. Okay, so I have a stone axe and a flimsy axe. I have this, axe. I have this dumb pot recipe I don't need. Um, okay, let's go hit some trees. Let's go hit some trees. But yeah, it's a possible theory. Also, like, I've been finding all the white instruments in this town. Um, 
And in my other town, they're all like the maple wood. So I don't know. It, it could be a true theory. Okay, I have... No, why would it favorite the flimsy axe? Dumb. Come on. This is supposed to save me time. So there's one wood. So we're gonna have to grind a little bit, you guys. gonna end up moving these trees around too because I made them um, to have like a little like woods behind my house but then I feel like I'm changing a lot of the layout of my house so it's just like my other town I have like a huge orchard but I hardly ever use it like I never use it to get bells and I have all the fruit on like a different island, like a little island within my island, a different section. So I'm like probably, uh, it's just eating up a lot of space and I don't even use it. So it's like, okay, why do I have this? It was like good at the beginning of the game, but then it's like, you know, when you get so far in, you're like, I don't really need all that. See? Like, why can't I have, like, three wood pop out? Just have three wood. Like, so far, I have nine wood. That's really annoying. Okay. Anyway. Um. Yeah, pot recipes now this game. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I forgot all about the carrying, like, balloons. Most things from, like, City Folk I forget about because I literally, like, played it for my Let's Play and outside of that I didn't play it a whole lot. Ooh, that's a- that's another one. That's another butterfly I need, like, I have, like, one of. Yes, girl! I caught a green! Green. Great purple emperor. A green purple. My brain works. Dumb. Anyway, I have the paper. A good thing to hit are the are these palm trees though, because they never have bees. Bees don't live in palm trees, so it's a good good strategy. I already gave Biscuit a table setting, so I can't give him this police uniform. Cookie, why did you ruin your look with that balloon hat? You looked so cute with the bow in your hair. Oh. Okay, so how much wood did I need for this? I'm also low on tree branches. I have so many tree branches in my other town, and... This town I keep just like selling them and throwing them away because I get tired of them laying around and then I don't want to run back to my house, so. Anyway. Um. But yeah. You have a butterfly model saved up for me? Oh, well thanks, I appreciate it. Um, okay, so now I have... <sighs> serious right now. Oh, don't... Stop it! Stop axing this thing! Seriously, I don't care. Goodbye. Okay. Um... <laughs> Angelia Haywood! How's it going, girl? We are trying to grind for wood at the moment because it's so sparse in this game for whatever reason. But I think we have enough now to make what we were trying to. Toss in that pot! I'm like, come on. Like, no. I am not hanging on to freaking pot. Okay, let's craft. 
Why can I not make this still? Oh, I don't have the clay. Alright, well let's get the clay out. I don't know if three is enough, so... Yeah, so those trees behind my house yesterday when I was like grinding for wood, there were seriously like four bees in that little patch alone. And there's only five in your town per day, so I'm like, wow, cool, you know. Why would you do this to me? Okay, so Brickwell... Um, actually... So this needs to go in storage. I mean, all this stuff needs to go in storage, but... I want to hold on to that. Stop. Like, I know they added that with an update, but it's annoying. The stone axe needs to go right there. Cool. Alright, let's go. So, oh, Stopping by before doing tax stuff! Tax stuff sucks! You know what I forgot? I have tea. Oh my god, and it's still hot. Man, that cup. Okay, so I'm thinking that I'll probably end up putting the, the well somewhere outside of my house instead. There's a picture I found on um, Tumblr that's really, really cute. So let me see if I can pull it up. That's really cute, and I kind of want to design my house around. If anything's lagging, it's because I'm loading a web page, so give me a second. Yeah. So somebody made, like, a really cute, like, landscape. Um, I don't even know how to share this. How do I share this? Here we go, copy link. So this is... I don't want it to look exactly like this. Also, pardon the title, because it's a very, like, explicit title. Um, but... I don't want it to look exactly like this, but I kind of like that aesthetic because it's very, like, cute and cottagey, and that's kind of what I'm going for. So I'll probably end up changing all this around for now. Like I said, it's, like, a very suburban... Oh my god, there's another one of those! I think that's the third one! That'll be my third one! Yes, ladies! Okay, so... So yeah, the blog is called F Yeah Animal Crossing, except it's the actual word, so pardon that, but um, it is, I really like that particular design. Okay, let me see what, um, what all I have here now. I have, okay, three common, three yellow, three peacock, if I ever wanted to make a second, three paper kite, great, imp great purple emperor, I have it now. I need one more Agrius. I have like five Raja Brook. I'm also just saving the extras for if I want to sell them. Um, I also really like the Orchid Mantis. Uh, the sun. I only have one Sunset Moth. I really like the Orchid Mantis and the Violin Beetle. So I thought about making those later. Um, so those flowers in the picture I sent? Yeah, like, it's awesome. So, like, I really want it to look like that more. Um, I do too. I like the way they fly, how it's like a, like, ooh, they like soar. Um, I'm just gonna leave this well right here, because I'll end up messing with it later. She is still singing over there. Yeah, I'll give Cherry the police uniform. So I'm tired of carrying it around. Also, bye Angelia, good luck on your taxes. Okay. She's like, this isn't my style. Oh, well, that's too bad because it's not my style either and I don't want it. Oh, thanks for paying me for it though. I appreciate the pay. Okay. 
tiger, blue common. Yeah, when Flick came to town, literally the only like bigger butterflies in the commons that I had three of was the tiger, so that's why I have that. But it looks really cool as a model. Like it looks way cooler, like blown up. Um. Okay, great. Okay, so let's go ahead and extend this out and see what that looks like with the little like um, bath, outdoor bath right here. these out of the way for now and let's go ahead and make this longer I need to remember to order more of those panels at least one more yeah because the staircase up to shoot well actually the staircase up to that teddy bear like picnic area can be on this other side. I think it's cute. I think it looks good in there. Because butterfly gardens often have that kind of stuff in there with them. So I think it looks good. Can I push this? I'll put both of these plants back in here because again until it is full with like flowers and the bushes have actually grown I don't really know what this is going to look like for sure but yeah I think that looks good in there so I think that's a good good little layout for now all right let's water these babies I just bought this watering can, so it shouldn't break as soon as we start doing this, which is what usually happens to me. So let's not have that happen. Um, okay. And, yeah. I like how this is turning out. I do like it. I just think I can, I'll be able to envision it more once it's larger. Okay. Watering the flowers is pretty therapeutic, you guys. It really is. You gotta love it. And the, this is my wildflower area, so this is literally just my hub where I put all the different kinds of flowers that I have extras of um, that don't really fit anywhere, or I don't have like a particular garden going on anywhere. Um, that's what this area is right here. So, in case you're like, what is going on with this? That's what this is. So like a lot of people brought over like cosmos and tulips last time so i have those kind of just over here and you know maybe one day this will be more organized but for now it just is what it is it's just kind of a catch-all for the flowers and it looks pretty so it's like you know there's no harm done and just having a big bunch of flowers so um Okay. And I have a couple hybrids over here too. And I, if I have extra hybrids, I put them over here so that way I know where to grab them. Um, okay. And then someone planted these black tulips the last time they were in town, so those are pretty cool. I don't know if I just watered those. I feel like that did not even go on them. Oh, it did. Okay, they're sparkling. They're sparkling. 
All right, then my rose garden is obviously part of my restaurant area. And it's the same thing. There's no like rhyme or reason to the layout of this. I just have it random on purpose. I just watered that like three more times more than I needed to. So, cool. Way to go me. But yeah, this, this heart-shaped pond was already here. That's a natural pond that was just in-game when I started this file. Um, so I didn't want to manipulate it. I didn't want to move it. So I just kept it exactly how it was. And I was like, we're going to have a romantic like restaurant area. And it's kind of the same thing where until I get the chair recipe that I need, um, I'm just going to leave it how it is. So... I'm driving this butterfly crazy as I water all this stuff. Um, maybe. Um, I see you. Uh, P I, P cup. I don't know. Um, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the pimp zone. Okay, and then over here in my ballet area, I have my pink and black roses, which I have exactly enough now to fill up this little uh, little line right here. So that worked out perfectly, and I'm very happy with that. So, hooray! Um. <clears throat> anyway. Okay. Now that we've watered pretty much everything I care about watering, oh, I guess I should water my own, like, garden of flowers. I wanted to have, like, my three favorite colors over here, which is why I, um, have the tulips poking in here. And I also wanted to use a variety of flowers, not just my hybrid mums, so that's why. I have it like that. Anyway. <clears throat> I didn't even want her to say the day my the stupid name I made years ago. Well, no worries. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Thank you for the follow though. I put all the wildflowers outside of I guess wildflowers are actually a name of a flower in this game. I know I said that earlier for that area, but you know what I meant. Um, I put these <clears throat> outside of Tank's house because he's closest to the gate and I have these kind of like lining the gate, so, um, so that's like what I have here. There's another peacock butterfly. I love how much butterfly catching we're- oh no. Butterfly catching we're doing today. It makes me super happy! And the dogs are talking. Let's go see what they're talking about. Oh, never mind. They ended. But they, they ghosted me. As soon as I walked up, they were like, oh, we were talking about her. Oh, Wolf from Lupos! Shout out to Wolf! Um, shout out to Cookie doing yoga, literally right next to Tutu. Uh, Mr. Wario, thanks for the follow, girl. Oh, Biscuit's asleep. I think Frigia must be making a recipe or something because I have not seen her, so let's go find her. We haven't really interacted with the villagers today, so let's go do that. Also, uh, I wanted to put... I forgot about this. I wanted to put this sign out. Uh, just for now. Hold on, let's do this. Can I fit it right here? Oh, that's right, it's not a piece of furniture. Painting. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. I clicked the wrong one. Okay, that is not what I wanted at all. That is 100% not what I was going for. Okay. Display here as a painting. There we go. 
I know I got wood to make more like actual signs, but for now we'll just have it like that. Okay. Solid wood just laying here. Anyway. I think my computer account's having trouble, that's okay. No worries. Okay, Frigia's not home. Who... maybe... Oh, maybe Julian? I don't- I haven't seen Julian around either. Somebody's gotta be making a recipe in town today. Where are you, Julian? Oh, he is home. I bet he is making something. Yo, yo! Gifting that sub to Phantom Tempest! How's it- I almost said, how's it going? I guess, how is it going? But thank you so much for that gift sub to Phantom. And Phantom Tempest, welcome back to the Ba family, girl. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much, Yo-Yo. You are awesome. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, basement floor. <laughs> I mean, yeah, tell us how to make it. I love how they're like, you want to learn how to make this? Oh, I forgot. But I'll give you this thing I wrote down. Okay. So, solid odies, Casanova. Okay. So now, um... Now that we found the recipe, let's go to the teddy bear area. And I'm also going to do a little uh, giveaway, like I usually do. So, um, if you... And keep in mind, uh, you need to have your gate on and ready to go. Um, I would like to visit somebody, so if you type fruit into the chat, um, you'll be entered and I might come visit your town. So... You can go ahead and just type fruit into the chat if you would like. Oh, shoot. How am I doing this? Oh, I'm on the wrong page. What am I doing? Fruit. Ha. Um, so yeah, type fruit in the chat and I will come visit your town if you are playing. And... Um... Yeah. And then this will give you some time to set it up, too, because I am going to put a pattern down really quickly. So this will give you some time to set up your gate and all that. I know I'm ruining this by picking everything up, but... Um, okay. But I want to put that blanket down. While I have the hard hat on. Okay. Blanket patterns. This is so cute. I've never done like a picnic blanket before. Um, Legendary Sugar, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the pimp zone. Okay, I'm just gonna make like a, a big old blanket. And I have fringe for both sides, so that's why I'm, like, doing that. Um, oh my god, legendary sugar! Hello! <laughs> um, okay, so if you didn't get the memo, fruit is what you need to type if you've got your town ready to go. Do I like this? I don't even know if I like this. Mm. I feel like it's too wide. That's a big old blanket, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, maybe I should make it... No. Maybe I should make it smaller. Like right here. It's too big. It's too B. It's so B, it's almost C. If you know what I'm saying. So, actually, I think that that's fine. Um, <clears throat> uh, 
You make things weird? No worries. Um. Okay. So, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll this now, because all I have to do now is get this going. Okay, did everybody enter fruit? Why am I not seeing? Okay. Do, 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 do. Where did this page go? All right. So Panda Plays, 6-4. It looks like we're coming to your town. So if you can just whisper me your your dodo code, I will come on over. Uh, as soon as I get these freaking bears put back how they need to be. Um, because these bears need to go. Uh... Okay, Papa Bear went on this side, right? Papa Bear? Okay. Yeah, so congratulations! Uh, Panda Plays. Okay, and um, I promise I'll get this done. As quickly as I can, girl. So, I'll see if I like how this blanket looks. I think it looks cute. For the moment. Um. I wonder if... Yeah, like if I pull this onto the blanket, if that will look better. I think it does. And then I can put the baby bear right here. And the little tea set right next to him. Or it can not go right next to him, and it can do that instead. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I think it looks good with the blanket up there. It really does look like a teddy bear picnic now. Um, okay. So... You love this game a ton, just can't get into it like other Animal Crossings? That's understandable. I mean, it definitely feels, like, different than the OG Animal Crossing. For sure. And Panda Plays, I got your... your code. So as soon as I get this... picnic basket down... I'm gonna come on over. Maybe I should, like, push this like that. There we go. Now there's, like, two things on both sides. So I'll probably make, like, a staircase over on this side that leads up there. Or maybe not. I might just have it be, like, you have to have a, a railing. Or a railing. A ladder to get up there. Why would I call that a railing? Dumb. Ooh, golden nuggets. All right. Okay. CJM, how's it going? Um. Okay, now how do I get down from here? I'm going to the gate, I promise. I'm going to the gate. And as always, uh, for the privacy of Panda Plays, I will be hiding that Dodo code and... Shouting out my patrons on Patreon while I enter it. Okay. So let's go. Ladies. Um. Ba -ba. So I want to fly. I still have this hat on. I don't know if it's going to be like, oh, you can't do this while you're wearing this hat. Hopefully not. But... 
No, not never mind. Thank you. Okay. And I want to use a dodo code. Um. Uh, okay, so let me go. Hold on. Let me go here. I'm ready for that code. I've got your code. Um, but while I'm entering it, shout out to my patrons on Patreon who are the ultimate pimps who give extra support each and every month uh, to help me continue my content creation. So thank you so much to them. And if you're interested in joining my Patreon family, definitely check out the link um, below the stream or in the video description if you're watching this on YouTube or you can type exclamation Patreon into the chat and that will bring it up as well. So thank you guys so much and here we go. We're going to Bear Isle. We are going to Bear Isle. And a plays. Pokemon Snap Song. <laughs> Oh my gosh! That's fine. He's like not allowed to wear that hat. Okay. I was really scared he was gonna be like, sorry, you can't go after all that. Then I would have been really annoying. Yeah, I like I will always love the OG Animal Crossing for GameCube and have like the softest spot in my heart for it, but I can see, I see what you mean by like, yeah, it feels a little clunky compared to these. I just like the characters better. Like, I feel like their dialogue, the way they interacted, the way you could do favors, like, it was all, um, it was just better, I think. Um, and they've kind of missed out a little bit since. But, I don't know, I'm sure that people would disagree, but that's definitely how I feel. Well, look at you with your fancy water waterfall-like staircase area. Yeah, like, everyone's so nice in the newer games. That's exactly what I mean. Like, no one's blunt. No one's, like, just telling you how it is. Like, it's all very, like, tiptoeing and, you know. So, it's kind of poopy, but... Nostalgia714, what's up? New Horizons is your first Animal Crossing game, so I don't have an opinion in the other. Yeah, well, that makes sense, too. Like, if it's the first one you played, obviously. And I think it's a fantastic game, but... Oh my gosh, there's a ra double rainbow! Look at that double rainbow hive. How cute is that? Am I... Why am I not... Oh, there we go. I was like, I need to take a screenshot. How cute! This is my favorite song, by the way. Um, Panda Plays, have I been to your island before? I don't think I have, right? Oh, what's up, Melba? Oh, it just stopped raining! Oh, yay! Power 46, how's it going? Melba... What a cutie. Oh, I didn't realize there was like a cushion right here. Um, but yeah. I loved the favor system in the OG like Animal Crossing and that's just like not a thing now. It'll happen once in a blue moon. Somebody will be like, can you go deliver? It's happened twice twice since this game came out and once on each game how cute i don't think so. yeah i don't think i've been to your island i just i've seen the name because you've come to my island so i'm like wait have i been here before but i don't think so i think i've just seen the name um this is super cute though and you got your dole whip in the corner there Shout out to Dole Whip. You got your old fashioned sewing machine with your little studio hype. Cute. I love the favor system. It was my favorite. 
Because you could just get like endless furniture and wallpaper and stuff that way. Which granted, I guess you got like one option a day or two options and now we get more, but I still miss it. Oh, your kitchen's super cute. I love the tablecloth. That's really adorable. Cute. Uh, I never got into Pokemon Go, but I don't like mobile games, so it was just like, I didn't need another reason to stare at my phone, you know? That's kind of how I feel about mobile games. Even then, it's only like one or two favors a day. Yeah. Exactly. Cute. I'm just going in all these neighbors' houses while I'm right here. Because I might as well. Oh, big tiger hype! Tyball! What's up? You caught me at the end of mid to late day home strength routine, Coolio. Alright, we'll chat with me then. Oh man, he's like, gotta check out that museum. Wow, 9,000, that's a lot, Tybalt. That's a lot. Too much. Whoa, girl! <laughs> just gonna run in circles around you. That's what I love to do, just come in people's town and run in circles. It's how I show my excitement. Is this Renee's house? Because it looks just like her house. Oh! Called it. I knew it. I've got Renee in my other town, so I, I know what her house looks like. Oh man, what's the local fruit? Uh, I don't- I don't know! Oh, it's pears. Such a rarity. Well, Renee, you're old news, so we're leaving. Um, what's what I do? Run in circles. Yeah, her house is pretty empty. It's the same way in my town. Like, her house is just not cool. The outside's adorable, but the inside's like, mm. Look at your little beach with all your like, oh, that's so cute. I just got that coconut recipe, like the other day, by the way. So I need to make some of those for like the Yoshi's Island area. I know it's technically done, but like we could add one of those to like the table or whatever. Um, oh girl, I gotta check out your shop. Um, yeah, Pan this is Panda Plays Town right now. <clears throat> Sup, Nooks. Whoops, I didn't really mean to talk to them. So you've got, look at this cute little, like, um, whiteboard with, like, a schedule on it. Post-its and crap. Um, and then you've got like a bathroom sink and you've got a stereo system. Hi-Fi stereo. It's probably like a freaking million dollars and it is. Um, yo, Renee's actual house is sick. I s oh, really? Man, that sucks. I've never seen her like, I've only seen like her starter home. Like, and because so many people started with her so it's like i don't know anybody she's just moved in in her actual house what it looks like like their houses are so much better when they just like randomly move in and this is a green version of the portable record player that we have i don't think we need a green one for any reason um but yeah star nets available here i love the star nets Let's see if we've got any fun wall or flooring uh, not that we need anyway. We're kind of good on that stuff. I'd still like to see what's available, but yeah, Pixie got the guidebook, so I was like asking him about certain stuff in the game because I was really hoping the game had a ballet bar because it had all the different ballet outfits, but it doesn't. I'm like, I wish it had some kind of like ballet accessories. Lame. <laughs> But it just doesn't. So I'm like, okay, fine. Um, I will say that some of the starter homes are nicer than some of the villagers' actual homes. I could see that too. Like, have you seen uh, Kurt's actual house? It is a dump. It's just a pit. Like, it's disgusting. But it's the funniest thing. Like, um, 
Odie has Kurt, and he's nasty. I love Kurt, but his house is disgusting. And his goal, like, in previous games, was to be an interior designer. I'm like, uh, you need to work on this. So, no. You have a ballet bar in your catalog? Are you sure it's a ballet bar? Pixie said there wasn't one in the guide. Or is it just like a pull-up bar or whatever? Um. It is. It really is a pit and it's nasty. So, it's, it's not good. <laughs> oh... Um, his house if you want to view. Yeah, that's his house. It is disgusting. It was a bar bar? What? I don't understand. I don't know. I'm just going by what Pixie said. He, he didn't see anything in the guide, but... I guess I'd have to see it. Oh, sweet. Raymond's making a big ol... What are you making, Raymond? Golden gears. Alright, give me these golden gears. Also, shout out to Raymond, just being this, like, billion dollar villager for whatever reason. Again, he was the second person I ever ran into on a mystery island. I said no, because he was too boring. <laughs> Kurt, what is that house? He just wasn't colorful enough for me. Um, is it me or all- yeah, no, it's not just you, Nostalgia, like, um, all the snooty villagers, like, I don't even know they're snooty because they're so nice. I feel like they did it on purpose, and it's like, you know, I don't know, people were like, oh, it hurt my feelings, like, it's a game. Like, how could a character in a game hurt your feelings? No. Um... Let me check out your recipes right here. Well, if it'll tell me. But. Some of the snooty villagers I like. It's definitely not my favorite personality type. But. Oh, wait. Are these meant to. I'm assuming these are meant to be taken. Panda plays. Let me look up this bar bar, too. Bar bar. Um, I mean, I'm not seeing one online, so I don't know. I don't know. They are? Okay. Thank you. I was like, I don't want to take these and then be like, oh. Um. Oh, I already know this one. Okay. You're not a fan of Raymond? He's okay, but he wouldn't be anybody I'd pay $800 to have in my town. Like, I just wouldn't care. I think he's cute, but, like, he's not, like, the best. Like, no. Um, oh, I already have the ukulele. I should have known that. Okay. So, Cinnamon Roll, how's it going? Welcome to the stream, and Lump of Coley, welcome as well. As well. Why did I say it like that? I'm sorry. Um, okay. Who's this crazy girl up here? Admiring the flowers. Carmen. I just, I don't... The only bunny I really like is Tiffany. And the rest are all poop pants, so... Oh, sweet. Oh, very first klutz! Nice! And this is the crap I'm talking about. She's right outside of her house, but we can't go in it. They... You could do that in the original game, so it's like, come on now. Come on. Heart-shaped pond. Yes, girl. Um... I don't know. So... Carmen's kind of cute, but her face is a little weird. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Bengal, look at you with the tigers. 
Oh, sweet. Bengal's a cutie. Everybody has this house, too. Like, the default peppy house. I'm like, can we get away from the default peps, girl? There was a mouse named Carmen in Animal Crossing GameCube, I'm pretty sure. I think I have her amiibo card. Like, the little RV one. Maybe I'm tripping? I don't know. But I could have sworn. I could have Sawan. Maybe not. But there was, yeah, from if memory serves me correctly. Let me check out your map. Um, oh, we're like, we have not gone over here at all. Okay. Oh, this is cute. Look at this fortune teller, or fortune teller, fortune cookie stand. We ran right by it. I didn't even notice. Um, okay. Hopping across the river. Let's go. Um, yeah, Carmen is definitely a mouse. Oh, there he is, big Zucker. We had the opportunity to get Zucker, but we were like, nah. Um, I'm trying to exit out of some of these. Web pages too, sorry. Quincy Crossing, how's it going? Candy was, I love candy. I love candy. Um, she's one of my, she's like my favorite mouse. Candy, Samson, Rizzo, like I love all those mice. All right, there's Big Zuck. Man, Zucker just reminds me that I'm still craving sushi and I still haven't gotten any sushi. Maybe I'll try and get some sush tonight. Maybe that'll be my goal. Take a big chance and go get that sush hype. Oh, Snooty. She's too busy for us. Oh look, you have like your little, oh, your little jungle gym, like playground area back there. How cute. Oh, so cute. I love the way you've like placed all your flowers around. Um, you saw Candy on one of your very first Mystery Island tours, but was like, nah. <laughs> Aw, uh, Flurry, she's moving out. Oh my god. Alright, you'll figure it out. Flurry's a cutie, but we have no space on our island, so sorry, Flurry. Can't move in. Flurry's big cute, though. Flurry's big, she's big, she's big, and she's cute, cute, cute. Alright, who's, who's running around over here? Oh, nobody, it's a teapot. It's the teacup ride. I guess I could- there's Snooty. I could put like the teacup ride over in my tea party area. That would be kind of cute. Although I don't know that there's enough room. Like, we'd have to extend it probably. I don't think I have bios for like any of these villagers by the way, which is why we haven't been look seeing any of them. How cute. Statue of Liberty's back there. Whose house is this now? Um, why does Flurry's wallpaper look like that? I didn't even notice. Oh, this is the new bear. This is Megan. Megan is the new bear in town. She's big, cute. And she looks very much like a Tom and Jerry character to me. Like she looks like she could have come straight out of the cartoon Tom and Jerry. It's really weird. Really, really strange. She's really cute though. I do love her like coloring and she's a big cutie. She's big hype. Da -na 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 -na. I think, did we meet everybody? I think we might be back to the beginning now. I think we did meet everybody. Yay! How cute. And look at your little like star pond you've got. You've got a heart pond, a star pond. Really, really cute. Love it. Who's 
house is this? Oh, Melba. That was like the first person whose house we went in. Yay! I will dance with you. Woohoo! Alright, let's get a picture together before I head back. And hold on. I'm trying to get this like house centered in it because it's cute. With the double rainbow hype. It's kind of fading, but that's okay. That's so cute. I love your little character. Yay! Woohoo! Well, thank you so much, Panda Plays, for letting me visit your town. It's super cute. I love how everybody has such a different layout. <laughs> how everybody has such a different layout in their towns. And it's just so cool to see what everybody's done. Or what everybody's working on, you know? I feel like everybody's town is, even if it looks like completely done, we're all like, wait, I'm working on this thing. So, all right, well, thank you so much, Panda Plays. I'm a return to my island. And why don't we have a an amiibo camper come to town? Because um, that's just what I like to do. And I always say pick like three favorites in case I don't have it, and then I'll, you know, figure out where they. <laughs> yeah, camper. Woo! Why don't we? Hold on. Oh, no problem. It was fun. I love visiting towns like that. Okay, so how about this? Type camper in the chat if you have a camper suggestion. Um, and we'll go ahead and get that going. See who camps out. Um, and if it is a repeat character, I'll politely ask you to choose another just because we have gotten requests for the same characters before so um you know i want to spread the the love so we get to see more than like two characters you know obviously all right so let's go ahead and head to town hall oh are they having a combo are you gonna talk no you're too good for that okay fine Okay, so let me go ahead and pull up the screen so then I can just choose right away. <laughs> it's like, what is going on? There's like a plant that's attacking my window right now. Um, okay, so invite a camper. Yes, I do. Here we go. Let's roll it. And yo, yo, Yoshi95 is gonna choose the camper today. So... Let's go, and it's gonna be like, you didn't let us read a card, so congrats, yo yo Yoshi. Choose yo camper. Woo! <laughs> oh, yo yo Yoshi. And then, just like I said, have like three options, and if I don't have any of those three, then I'll read you all the cards. So, because I really don't have that many. Um,. Because, you know, some of the cards I have, I have all the Japanese cards that don't work uh, from the RV cards for the Sanrio line. And then I also have the NPCs. So, like, really, I don't even have, like, a huge amount. Um, but, yeah. So. You'll go with Curly, your birthday buddy. Okay, well, I have all three of those cards, I'm pretty sure. So, we'll, we'll be able to get Curly in here for you. Curly's a cutie. I love the pigs in this game. They're big, they're big, they're big, and they're cute. Yeah, because I have Curlos and Curly, and I thought it was funny that I had both of those. So big Curly's coming to town. It's going to be like, um, do it again. So here comes the curl. Yeah. That's Curly's amiibo. Courtesy of Yo-Yo. All right. Oh, look at his little shirt. That's different than the one on the Amiibo card. He's wearing like a little sweater. He's here to show off his biceps. <laughs> look at him faking us out at first. Visit your campsite. Aw, he's so happy. 
<laughs> yeah, you're small. You're small. You're small and you're thin, thin, thin. Oh. All right, so here comes Curly. Also, my favorite pig ever is Ganon, and you can't get Ganon in this game. Only in New Leaf, because you need the Ganon amiibo from, like, Legend of Zelda. But I used the amiibo from Odie's house when I was visiting once, and he was, like, my favorite pig villager, because he's a cranky pig. I also love Rasher, who's the OG cranky pig. Those are my two favorites, Rasher and... Um, Ganon. Rasher you can still get, but... And I actually did run into him on a mystery island, but, like, not for this town, for my other town, but I was, like, I already had a cranky, and I was, like, Ugh. I was really hoping for, like, a cutesy somebody. Okay, yo, big thanks for the invite. I got here as quick as my legs could jog me, yoink. What a cutie. Okay, not everyone's cool with staying in a tent. I kind of wish that they wandered around, like, right outside the tent area and you saw them, like, interacting with the campsite stuff. That would be really, really cute. Oh, sweet. You want a freaking barbell. Um, and I must have the recipe already because he didn't give me one, so how, how fitting to his character. What is- Oh, those sticks are adorable. That would look super cute in our house. I might have to make that as well. Um, because I definitely have two golden nuggets. I definitely have more at home. Let's go ahead and check out this barbell. There it is. And it just takes iron nuggets. So that's a nice, easy recipe. So, from pigs you like ga uh, Gala or Gala, she's cute too. She's cute, but I don't have, like, the affinity for her that I have for, like, um, Rasher. Which is funny, because Rasher is like this beat-up pig. He has like stitches and scars, but he was my first cranky villager in my Wild World game. And Wild World was my second Animal Crossing game, so I naturally have like nostalgic love for him. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get some materials, and I'm going to put some of this other stuff away. Uh, Oh, okay, put this, put all of these away. I need to get the golden nuggets out and iron. I love KK Coral or Corral or whatever you say. I know a lot of people who like Agnes, but I don't have any particular feelings for Agnes because I've never had her in a town before. So, um, let's craft. Alright, we've got the barbell going. Let's go ahead and make these candlesticks. We also have the golden lucky cat. What does that take? I just want to see what it takes. Oh, it takes a lucky cat and then just like two golden nuggets. Okay. We have this big old fish. Golden dishes that we got from Gwen. And let's put these away. And then we're gonna put these candlesticks out in my house and see how it looks. I wanna put them on the fireplace. Cause it definitely fits with the whole theme of this room. Alright, so let's move this over, Oh, it's big cute, I like it, maybe I like, well maybe I want them in the opposite order though, yay, I like that, I like the candlestick. It's really cute. Perfect. So cute. Sherb is pretty popular from what you understand. Just not Raymond popular. Yeah. Oh man. Who's the pig with blonde hair? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. 
My favorite kitty will always be Kiki, and I think a lot of it's nostalgia too, but she's just like the best. And Mitzi, I love both of them. Kiki and Mitzi. Um, J-Pom, yes girl, welcome to the stream. I love the flower crown. I don't even know who gave this to me last time, but somebody definitely did, and it's adorable. Look at him with his sandwich, how cute. He looks like Curly Pig from Looney Tunes, like he really does, which probably is why they named him Curly, but it's just kind of funny. Um, I love pigs, they're so cute. I would love to have like a farm someday just because I love all the animals. Like, I wouldn't ever do anything. Like, I wouldn't- it wouldn't function like a normal farm and just be like, I have these animals so they can live out their lives and be happy. Um, oh, it gave me sporty shades. Hot. All right, well, we can probably give those to somebody in town because we have a bunch of people we still need to give gifts for the day. Well, shout out to Curly. Yo, yo, Yoshi's choice for the day. Let's go out and back in to see his barbell on display. So. Then I could send snaps like big nap. What I really would love to do though, honestly, is to have a sheep farm and to make yarn out of their wool. And then I could knit them sweaters out of their own wool. It'd be so adorable, like dye it and make them little coats. That's my dream. Um, I love how his eyebrow literally, like, curls when he makes certain emotions. Let me, let me talk to him again and see if he does it. Also, have we seen Murphy today? I don't think we've seen Murphy at all today. Murphy is our newest villager. Look at his eyebrow! It's so cute. I love it. Super funny. Can you imagine camping with a great big old barbell? No. <laughs> okay, let's go see if we can find Murphy. Because he would look good with the sporty shades. He would. And we have definitely not seen him today. And this is his house. No, he's not here. Where are you, Murph? Dang. We've like not seen him at all. Maybe he's visiting like somebody. Cause lately I've had neighbors like visiting each other. His eyebrow is curly! Exactly. Nope. Watch, she'll get all confused when I just leave. <laughs> like why did she come in and then just leave? He might be in the museum, maybe. Remember that day Biscuit was nowhere to be found? I don't understand. Um, is she home? She is. Tutu's home. Let's go bug Tutu, because she's a cutie. I've had a lot of these villagers name drop, by the way. They've been talking about you guys since you came and visited on Saturday. Oh, the magical dress! They have been talking about you guys like crazy. Like, it's so funny. I love it. Okay, tell me. Oh, Jeremy! Yes, girl! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! Jeremy's getting, getting name dropped. He's a legendary adventurer! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, and Pally Callie, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. She loves it. I just, I love that they talk about everybody. Like, it's so funny. You like Pretty Little Liars? Yeah, I do. Not anymore. What if? Um. Yeah, I'll hold a Pretty Little Liars seminar for you two, too. Welcome to my palace! I I just love her. I love that she also has bubblegum KK playing. Oh, Corgi! Corgi from Wisteria, ladies! Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh, okay. I'll go catch a long locust for you. Alright. 
right, let's go catch something for Tutu because she's so cute. She's talking about everybody. She's spilling the tea. Um, and I still, I'll go in here and see if Murphy's in here maybe, but because I have no idea where he is. I We have yet to see him today. So it's kind of like one of those things. No. But look at her making the pizza pattern, yes. Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, so I need to catch a long locust. I don't know why I went such a roundabout way of doing this. I like to give the sporty shades to Tank, too. Because he's sporty. Take your shades. And then maybe he'll wear these instead of that terrible mask that he wears all the time. Oh. So funny. Name another animal you'd like in this game? I want whales right now. Right now. Uh... Oh, really? Apparently if you give them a song, they'll play it in their homes? I didn't realize that. I have literally nothing down here, so if Murphy's down here, he's gonna be sadly disappointed by my lack of fossils. Did the update take out the stamp rally thing finally, by the way? I was getting really sick of Blathers having to tell me about it every day. No, it didn't, because there they are. Oh, I apparently donated, like, the first three fossils I got and then never donated again because I've been using them just to bank money but oh I want owls owls would be cute too yeah all right well he's not down here in this really boring mostly empty fossil area so I'm kind of like where did you go Murph where did you go? Till the third? Okay. And then hopefully we get the update for all the wedding stuff because I am so ready to make a wedding area and have an in uh, and had a, have an Animal Crossing wedding with Odie. That's the best. Shark villager would be amazing. Dinosaur villager would be amazing. Those would be so cute. Okay, I'm not going to run all the way through here. I'm just going to leave. Because who knows if he's even in here and there's like nothing to show off in here anyway, so. I, I guess we could hold a ceremony so we can see him because I definitely have a ceremony backlogged that I could do. Um, why do you want to have an Animal Crossing? Wait, why do I want to have an Animal Crossing wedding with Odie? It's almost like I'm marrying him or something. And it's almost like we can't get married right this second because the world is like shut down. Sucks. Boo 1220. How's it going? Okay, we're going to, uh, what? I can't have a ceremony? I guess it expired. Poop. No. All right, well, never mind. Um, oh, you know what? One thing I can show off, though, and I'm not gonna do anything with it because it's not cool enough yet, but, um, you can customize for- customize every day for 5,000 bells, and eventually this is free once you pay off your house, but then you can change the roof color. I really don't like how the pink roof is basically just a different shade of red. Like, it doesn't look pink to me. Um, but I only have the, the mailbox and the roof as an option. Eventually you'll get siding and the door and all that with like the next out upgrade, so I'm not going to do anything with it right now. Um, but yeah, don't forget to do that because I've seen people in their towns that are like totally built up and then their house looks exactly the same. And I'm like, you can update that house, girl. So, okay, let's see if we got... Uh, let's see if we got a better rating, because we had three stars. <gasps> Ooh, we did! Yes. Okay, so here's our feedback. This is a good island filled with good feet that know the value of a good rug. Visitations are pleasant. Okay. 
Um, yeah, where's the mermaid exterior? Maybe it'll come in an update. Four stars, solid slim curvy stars. Okay, what do you get for four stars? Because I really don't even know. Um, oh, you get more recipes and stuff. Okay, so you get more recipes or no? Or did I not get anything for this? Did she really unlock more stuff? I don't know. I don't know. Let's do a town tune. Uh, have a good one, Mario Gamer Bowl. Thank you so much. You don't get anything? You do for five stars. Why don't you get anything for freaking four stars? Um, see, so if you have a song idea for... Okay, if you have a song idea for the island, just type song into the comments. Because four stars suck! Whatever, it's not true! Um, and then I'll go ahead and get somebody chosen so we can change this while we're here. Because we might as well. Might as well. Right now it is. Right now it's like the OG Animal Crossing tune, so. Uh, so yeah, if you have a song idea, go ahead and type song into the chat and I'll get the Nightbot roulette going so that it will pick somebody and it will not pick me it can't pick me so don't worry <laughs> I kind of wish it could just for the meme but it can't um, <clears throat> but yeah alrighty Blah, 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 blah. What if they choose that Jap, that weird Asian song that I was like, girl, lumpy space, I'm sorry, but this is a little ambitious. That was the funniest thing. All right, let's roll it. Well, J-Pom is gonna pick my song, girl. J-Pom picking the song hype. <laughs> oh my God, please don't pick that Asian thing. <laughs> Oh my god. Theme from Powerpuff Girls? Oh, nice! Okay, sounds good. Bum, 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 bum. I haven't heard that song in a long time, but I know it by heart, so. Um, oh gosh, I'm like knocking stuff over. Okay. Congrats, J Palm. Hmm. Uh, okay, this will be a little trial and error, and you'll probably hear an echo while I figure this out, so. Bum, bum, ba -da 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 -da. I don't know, I'll have to play with this for a second. That might be too low. Hmm. I think it needs to be a G right there, doesn't it? Yeah, da 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 da. doesn't need to be spaced out like that. Dun 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 na 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 so da 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 E D Okay. Um could I make this longer? Da da Gotta make the, all of these silent too. It still seems like it's not right, but maybe it is. <laughs> I don't know. 
Dun, dun, da, 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 da. Maybe it's too low. What did I have this at? G? That's too high, though. I think it's okay, though. I think it's okay. It's like, I, I don't know. It might be a little, little off. Uh, here below notes in my town tune, so you always knock them up higher. Let me see. I think it's good, though. Maybe I... Do I need this to... I don't think I need to have those, like... Well, maybe I do. Maybe I will. Um... F... E... Uh, D. Hold on. I want to try and put more onto this so it's not just silent. Done. It's like really twinkly after that. Maybe the F is sharp? Maybe. It works. You're right. It works. I'm going to just leave it, though. I'm not going to tack on the end because then it might sound really weird. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, Isabel sounds ridiculous. But... Cass, thank you so much for the bits. And thank you so much, J Pom, for the theme. I hope I did it at least a little bit of justice. Um, I think it's okay. I think it's good, though. Alright. So thank you for that. This belt does sound weird in this game, for sure. And I give you some boss casting over for those bits. Thank you. Alright. So I'll probably start wrapping up here honestly because I think without starting another like gigantic project we're probably like at a good stopping point so uh, but yeah I do want to make this more more fairy like a little like I still want to have like the home vibe but I want it to be a little bit more structured um or, uh, sorry, a little less structured, a little more, like, sporadic, so that way, um, it has more of, like, that natural vibe. Are you, what are you doing? Yoga in the flowers, Cookie. What you do? Let's talk to Rhonda. Oh, no! She has fleas! Yeah, got it. She doesn't have the range! But, yeah. Um... We actually, no, Kabumik, yesterday we did a watch party for, we watched my original Animal Crossing Let's Play because yesterday was the 10 year anniversary of that project. So that was like um, a big watch party that'll be going up on YouTube after this. And, um, but yeah, we did finish on Friday though. We finished it on Friday. So... And that was a hype time. It, it was a lot of fun. Finally got Miracle Star. I actually had a dream last night that I gave my cartridge to my cousin. And I'm like, why would I do this after I just spent all this time unlocking that? So. But yeah, you're gonna head out. You have to head to your meeting. Alright. Bye, Mega Waluigi. Thanks so much for coming by. Um. Okay, so what... I think maybe before we close, well, no, I think we will just close out. I think that we're at a good stopping point. So let me show off what we did today for anybody who didn't see. 
earlier. Um, so we've been really working on our little town areas. So last week I finished the ballet studio. So this is it. It's all good to go. It looks really pretty and I really like it and how it's turning out. Haunted area is... It's in the works still. It's on pause because, like, we haven't found anything new for it. But this is the main area we tackled today, which was the butterfly garden area. And we're just going to kind of wait for things to grow before we can really do a whole lot more with this area. But I think it is turning out really pretty. I do like um, the nature of this area. And we also added the teddy bear picnic area, the, like, blanket down for that picnic area up there. Um, so those are kind of the, the areas we worked on today. I also worked on the restaurant off screen. So I'll have to get this figured out, like how many chairs I want here, how I want this to really look, um, probably on my own. But yeah, things are coming together. Our town is coming together and looking really nice. So, um, it's been a pimp time, basically. Um, I need to order that screen by the way and this is kind of another thing let me see if I have this in my catalog because um, we want to make like Regina George's room for mean girls upstairs so we have kind of like a mean girls room going on and I want to say what's that bathtub Ugh. what's the big bathtub I don't even know what it's called but it'll eventually pop up in here, hopefully. Because I'm pretty sure I cataloged it from Little Foo's Town. Is it just round bathtub or jacuzzi tub? Did I pass it? I don't know! Spa bathtub, maybe? You might be right. Maybe I don't have it in this this town. I, it must be in my other town. But I'm thinking if we get one of those spa bathtubs, then we can like use that in that room because she has that big jacuzzi bathtub and we have a lot of the other stuff. for. Oh, there it is. Whirlpool bathtub. Yeah, so we'll probably get one of these and then we'll like have that. Um, no, Whirlpool tub. We'll have that in that room. <clears throat> I need to get another one of those stanchions. There it is. Simple panel. It's like 810 bells. I'm going to order a couple of these because I might as well. Um, but yeah. Do I have anything? No. I think I'm good with all that stuff. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and run up run our credits roll. I want to give a big shout out to Scottman895 who generously donated $30 earlier to change my name to Madame Wario backwards on Twitter. So I'll get that changed so I'll no longer be Dr. Popular MD, which might be my favorite one yet, if I'm being real. We've raised $4,231 so far for St. Jude and we're going to continue this uh, for the rest of the week. And then the campaign will be over. The 31st is the finale of the campaign. I still don't know which stream I'm doing on that day, but it'll be something fun for sure. So Dr. Popular MD is a great Twitter name. Maybe that'll be my Twitter name after it's all over too. Um, but yeah, so the campaign's still running. If you have the means to donate, this weekend would be a great time because it is the finale. If we reach $4,500, I'm going to be doing a Nintendo Labo stream that's going to be really fun. So that'll be something to check out. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get these credits rolling. And let me make sure that it is pulling up on here. It is. There we go. We'll go ahead and mute that for the moment. And we'll get them going. <laughs> all right. So thank you guys so much for being here and for all of your support. It's been a really fun weekend and week and everything. Thank you for the bits cast to my mod pixie who's in the house. To all the new followers today, welcome to the Pimp Zone. Thank you so much. And Kabumek and Phantom Tempest, thank you for your subs. Sub hype. Yo, yo, Yoshi gift and those subs. So thank you so much for your support. 
Um, you guys are amazing. Again, thank you, Scott, man, for your generous donation to St. Jude. And to all of you who have donated to St. Jude so far, thank you so much for your support, your love, your kindness. It means the world to me. Um, and you guys are just the best. So thank you for everything that you do for me. We're going to get a raid going, so let's go ahead and raid uh, Odie, because he's streaming Mario Party for me today. So he's he's streaming Mario Party for me and for St. Jude Play Live. Um, and so let's do, do we have a good hashtag? Kaboomic, thank you so much for that third tier sub too. I, I need to get on those emotes, I'm serious. I, I really, I'm going to. Um, I don't even know what good hashtag. Let's do... Oh, I don't know. Does anybody have a hashtag? I can never think of them when we get to this point in the day. I'm always like, what? Let's do... Da, 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 da. We worked on the butterfly area a lot. Maybe we'll just do like... Butterfly... Do okay, Dr. Popular MD, J-Palm. You got it. Dr. Popular MD. Since I'm retiring and I'm becoming Madame Wario backwards. So this is our hashtag. Please join us for the raid. And please join me this Friday at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern for Friday Night Mario Party, the first week of Mario Party 4. So that's going to be a fun time. All right, let's get this going. Odin back. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for being here. You're all amazing. Stay fierce, stay healthy, stay safe. Love you all, and I will see you on Friday. Bye, guys.